less than 12 months ago uh, in response to what we saw as the authorities not really doing anything to um, attack knife crime, to do something about it. So we decided to use the, the power of social media unarmed with nothing more than a couple of devices and a logo and a big tide of goodwill from a number of people. We started approaching the gyms and the boxing clubs to see if they would get on board to back this whole thing about fighting knife crime. It became close up knives down. During the time since then, we've changed dramatically, almost monthly. We've now become a community interest project. We've sought the, uh, the opinion of a noted academic, Professor Joanna Costa, who's um, a child psychologist for the United Nations. And she drew up a treatise for us that was about what contributes towards people going onto the streets and getting involved in a life of crime, and what are the ways of stopping it. And it's called preventative intervention and that's become the Gloves Up Knives Down credo. So what we do is target children aged between 7 and 13, and we give them a gift. We give them a gift of a boxing kit, a starter boxing kit, that's manufactured to professional standards, and we give them two free training lessons. We introduce them to gyms close to them. Um, this works. Over the past 12 months, we've done lots of trial sessions, mainly around London, and it has a transformative effect on the child's life. We put them into a ring, these kids might be overweight, never thought about boxing, addicted to devices, but by cajoling them and putting them into a ring with a trainer, after an hour, they come out and they want to take up boxing. They come out, they've got a lot of self-respect, they've, they've sweated, they've engaged in something physical, and that's, it's a fantastic transformation to see. The bonus for this initiative that we were completely unaware of was the fact that it helps change people's lives, the family life. It affects their peers in a very positive way, schools, and obviously communities. So now, today, this is why we're here, to launch the, the gift uh, of the boxing kit and the two free lessons. Um, the first recipient is going to be a gym uh, in East Tilbury sometime in March. Uh, so what I'd like to do is hopefully, with your help, spread the word even further help attract do uh, donations from corporate people and from personal people. You can read everything about it on our website. And uh, I hope you have a, a good time today. What's going to happen is that we're going to show you what the gift is, uh, and then Sean Bailey will be asked to say a few words, who's a very keen advocate of what we're trying to do, which is fantastic for a potential mayor of London, where the previous incumbent, well, you can make your own mind up about what he's done. Then I'm going to introduce you to Sharon Davis, who's from United Living, the first recipient and corporate donor for Gloves Up Nice Down. And after that, there's going to be photographs and people can have interviews and so on and so forth. So if I could just ask you to see what our gift is. So they have a free boxing kit, which is the boxing gloves. It's the head guard, the shorts, the vest, the sunbag. And it's got a drawstring back with carrying the carrying step around as well. Okay? And now you can see it in all its glory on. And to communicate further on social media, we've actually done a promotion film I'd like to show for you. It explains what we do in 48 seconds rather than me <coughs> going on forever. It's all about grittiness and urban environment, black and white. The child's given the gift, the life turns to colour, they're in the, in the ring, having the sessions, and then they're adopted by a much more nurturing environment that you're obviously all familiar with, which is the boxing club. So if you could just bear with me while I try and wrestle with the um, technology. Excuse me.
I'd just like to make the point that we briefed uh, a group to write uh, a song for us that we did not want to be rap. We gave them total creative freedom, and we said what we'd like is something that's anthem-like that people could clap and join in. And I think they've done a pretty good job there. So the next time that we all meet, hopefully it's at a rally, you can all join in. And we'll, <laughs> and we'll come and play. Now, before I pass it over to Sean, as if by magic, I'm going to knock the door. Hey. And it's fun. <laughs> Clyde is father Jogan with us for many months. He fit in perfectly the kind of child that we wanted to be seen in the thing. He looks fantastic in it and he's become a media star of his own. I wouldn't say on the back of this because his, his father's very uh, energetic in his, in his promotion of Gloves and Wives Down and Clyde. So that's that. I'd like to hand you over to Sean now who say a few words. Say, look, relax. This, this is a this is a good story. When you're running for mayor of London, you hear all kinds of things. People contact you about everything under the sun, bins, aeroplanes. But what I heard about this and the gift that was being given, what was important to me was the fact that it's broader than just the kit. The kit's great. The kit's absolutely great, but it's broader than that. The idea of preventative intervention is powerful. I've been a youth worker for over 25 years now. And people always talk to you about youth, they'll say cuts this, they'll say cuts that, it should be more that. What is youth for? What are you actually doing? And when I heard this story and I saw this kit, you know, the first thing that came to me is inspirational. It's inspirational for the young people involved. And you will know if you work with young children, they hear it all the time, but what really turns their head is when they feel inspired. What's really great here, it gives them, it gives them the notion of self. What do I mean by self? Self-belief self-control and self-discipline. If you're not from the boxing world, you think, hold on a minute, they punch each other. That's the end product. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes on before that. There's a club that you're involved with. There's a good men and women that you learn from on a daily basis. There's a fact you're involved in something that's bigger than you are. All of which are important to young people. All of which are inspiring to young people. If you notice, I haven't, I haven't mentioned knife crime or poor behavior. Because if you're in this environment, that is alien to you. Those things will not be an issue to you anymore. I was on a train this morning and someone asked me where am I going and what am I doing. When I explained us coming here, there's an elderly lady, she said, wow, that's great, how will I get it in my area? And that's the real power of this, the notion of partnership, the notion of spreading it around. What's really good is you get corporate partners in. What's really good, you work for other local boxing setups and clubs and all the rest of that. That's how this will stick, or will stand the test of time and it will grow. The epidemic we face in London now about crime is everybody's responsibility. And it is so great to see you putting a stake in the sand and making your bid to do something positive. It's got nothing to do with politics. I'll do the politics for you. You can argue about politics all day long. But right here, right now, this is about the safety of our children. This is about the future of the communities we live in. And it makes me so proud to be involved with this in any way I can. So the notion that I'll be telling a lot of people, you betcha, absolutely. But more importantly, I'll try to involve the other boxing clubs in, that I've been speaking to all along, the other youth work I've been speaking to all along. Because remember, our goal here is to make London safe. Black, white, rich, poor, North London, East London, West London, South. It doesn't matter if it isn't safe. When you look at a young boy like that, that's what we're doing it for. That's what we're doing it for. When I look at my own children, my daughter, my son, that's who we're doing this for. So when you think about, can your company get involved? Of course they can. You've been given a golden opportunity to do something great. If you're thinking you can get involved in a, as an individual, of course you can. You can contribute as well. Financially and with your time. Just tweet about it if you have to. But I'll never forget, it's the people behind this, the boxing clubs, the trainers, the young people that make this stick. This is more important than all the argument we do about politics. It's about delivering for people. And me, for one, I'm so, so happy and proud to be involved. And if there's any way I can help, just send me an email, call me, I'm there. The one thing I sound a terrible boxer, though. <laughs> Ooh, I've tried a number of times. I think about my um, futures in boxing training. <laughs> I haven't even been in a box myself. But listen, congratulations, first and foremost. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much.
If I could ask uh, Sharon Douglas to come forward from United Home, she's going to tell you a little bit about how she found Woods at Mouse Down and uh, what we're going to be doing. Okay, hi. Um, so my name is Sharon Douglas. Um, I work for a company called United Living and it's a construction company. Um, we deal with refurbishments and new builds, um, but I work with the refurbishment side. I work with the <coughs> called Social Valerie. And this is where what we do is wherever we've got a project going on, we go into the wider community and we find people like David and fantastic initiatives as, as he's already fully explained, so I won't go into that. Um, but we find initiatives and this is where we connect up with the local community and we want to give something back and leave a legacy wherever we've done a project, a construction project. And this is, what, this is how we bring social value back to the wider community. And that's what we've done. Um, and I've, I've asked uh, Greg to come up here because he's one of the trainers of the um, East Hill Regium that we were actually going to be the recipients of the first kit that's already been mentioned as well. Okay. Did you have any idea who you might like to invite along as a guest of honour? Oh yes, funny you should mention that, I do apologise. Yes, um, Sean, we would very much love to um, invite you along to be um, the guest of honour when we do the first um, presentation of the kit to those, oh, yeah. to those children. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just talk with out my way, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Great, thank, thank you. 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 Right. Just before we we go off and meet the rest of those cases, um, there's a couple of things I'd like to show you. One from the. Uh, the short 48 second uh, movie that you saw, uh, our editor, our very kind film editor, Duncan, has put together uh, a longer version that I'd like to play for you now, if that's okay, because it, it's probably maybe released as a single, we don't know yet, our, half the pro uh, proceeds of which will come to Clubs Up Nice Down. So if you could just play with me for one second while again, I try to wrestle with this. So this is the single.
such a phenomenon are the boxers. We reached out to them right at the beginning to get behind this, and they've constantly fed us and given us messages of support for, since we started, really, and it's their faces that have attracted more and more people to the whole thing. We're absolutely indebted to the boxing fraternity, both professional and amateur, and there's a fantastic representation of the boxers that have been behind us now that have come today. So for the German students, you've got a basket of boxes here that I really I hope you take the opportunity of speaking to, interacting with, and as ever, you know, our thanks go out to them for coming today. It's really very, very important. And I think everyone can see that it demonstrates the strength of the movement and the fact that people will come and make the effort, even on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and finally, just so that you know, for potential donors, because we are reaching out to them, the kit and the two lessons, it's 65 pounds, it's 65 quid, that changes a child's life, a friend's life, family life and community life. That's it, thank you very much. Can I just say one thing to any potential donor? What's really important about boxing as an activity is the confidence it gives. The very nature of a boxing ring is actually quite intimidating. And when a coach takes you through the process to stand in that ring on your own, they do something very special to your confidence. And what it's called is a transferable attitude. That's an attitude they can take to a job interview, an attitude they can take to someone who's trying to pull them into gang crime. They understand how they can look at themselves internally and deal with it. I was speaking to some of the younger boxers and trainers when I arrived, and one of the key things in our conversation is, all of the boys I grew up with, and they also grew up with, who were a bit handy, who like a fight, the minute they start boxing, that goes away. Because they have the confidence to walk away from a problem. That's how you act a bigger man in many situations, and you learn that kind of thing from doing boxing. And the whole notion of being around a group of, quite frankly, tough men, who teach you how to behave tenderly, is golden in this era. The amount of knife crime we have in London that's driven by the nonsense idea of what it is to be a successful man, is incredible and this initiative is one of the few I've seen that looks that in the face and wins the argument. If you're going to donate, this is one of the best places you could put your money. For every pound you put in here, you're probably saving a life and of course that's a good thing. Are we in Yeah. <laughs> I think interviews are going to take place now. Is that, is that a question? Okay, fine. Thank you all very, very much indeed for coming. I really appreciate it.